Okay, so in this video, we're going to briefly review trusses, method of joints. Um, and so let's just try to get something drawn here. I'm going to draw a truss. You guys can copy along if you want, or if you're watching this video while you're working through your module, um, that would be fine too. So here we have a pin, and here we have a roller. And I think it looks kind of like this. This is 2 meters, 2 meters, 2 meters, 400 newtons. Okay. So let's label this A, B, C, D, E. So for this truss, um, it's a pretty simple truss here. We have a roller at A, it's pinned at D, we have a 400 Newton load here at B. And I want to do method of joints and we will figure out, um, we can look at A. So when we do method of joints, the first thing we need to remember is we're going to call this, we only have two equations that we can use. We can sum forces X and we can sum forces Y. Um, because when we're looking at uh, this method, we literally cover up everything but the joint that we're looking at. So if you want to, maybe take like a small hair tie or a rubber band. And if I say at A, at A, I want to use method of joints. Okay, to find AE and AB, then I need to isolate that. So if I put a circle around it, then I can go back. I know I keep telling you guys to get post-it notes, but I can just kind of cover up everything else. So really all that I can see here at A is I have a roller, which I don't know that reaction yet. We're going to assume it goes up. And then I'm going to draw these two members. Okay, so I part of the member, part of the member. I'm going to assume that these are in tension and I'm going to label them force in AB to force in AE. And the next thing I need to do is notice, okay, this is at a slant. They didn't give me the angle, but I do have a two, two. So that means it's a one, one square root of two. Okay. Because I only have two equations to use for this, I can only have two unknowns. I could not start over here at E because I would have one, two, three, four unknowns, and I don't even have an added force there, okay? Um, again, this, I do have three unknowns, but I don't have an added force. So we we wouldn't know the, uh, the amount of force in each of those members. So you're going to have to start with at least a known quantity <laughs> um, and only two unknowns. Um, so I don't know AY, and I have to include that on the joint. It is pushing up. It is keeping that truss in place. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and call this my overall free body diagram. And I'm going to sum the moments at D. And we know that they equal zero. And I'm going to do D because this has a pin and it has X and Y. And I, I don't want to have to mess with that right now. So let's look here. I'm going to assume that AY is going up. So I have negative AY times perpendicular distance, four meters, okay, plus clockwise positive, 400 newtons times two meters equals zero. So I can pull this out and 400, enter two times, okay. So I'm going to isolate this for AY equals 800 newton meters. I'm going to take out my four meters from both sides. So I have AY equals 200 newtons. And again, it's going up. I don't use positive or negative. I show direction. So I can come back over here and this equals 200 newtons. So I now have a known quantity and I have two unknowns. So let's start with summing forces in the y direction. Um, both of these have an x component. So if I start with summing forces x, I don't have a known force yet in the x direction, and I'll have two unknowns. So I'm going to start with y, and I have, starting here at the bottom, positive 200 newtons. It's going up, and I've assumed this in tension, so the y component is plus 1 over the square root of 2ae equals 0. So 
So I need to isolate 1 over square root of 2AE equals 200 newtons, which is negative. Put that over. So AE equals negative 200 newtons times the square root of 2. 2 square root times. And I get AE equals negative 282.8 newtons. And, you know, kind of just think about this. If the y component is 200, should the value of AE be larger or smaller than 200? And you can see here's the x component, or the y component, the x component. That's kind of the hypotenuse. So it's going to have to be larger than that y component, okay? The other thing I note is um, I got a negative. And that tells me, because I'm assuming everything is uh, tensile and behavior pulling away, it's pulling, like pull, I'm pulling it in tension. Um, I got a negative, so I know it's really 282.8 newtons in compression. So when I present that in my work, I need to let me know um, the magnitude, the unit, and then either tension or compression. So I'm kind of visual. I like to change my things. Because I know it's actually acting in compression, I'm going to draw it as a compression, pushing, pushing, pushing on that joint. And I'm going to put the value 282.8 newtons. So now when I look at this, I can very quickly see that I can go back and I can now sum forces in the x direction to the right is positive. And I have, okay, that's got a negative component in the x, so I have negative 282.8 newtons. Um, that's the hypotenuse, so I need the x component, 1 over square root of 2, okay, plus ab equals zero. Again, I'm trying to isolate AB. Move this to the right side. AB equals 282.8 newtons divided by the square root of two. Two square root divided by, and I get 200 newtons, okay? So AB equals 200 newtons. It's a positive value. I assumed it to be in tension, so it is indeed a tension member. If I go back and look, and I note that this is 200, and this is 282, and this is a 1, 1, root 2 triangle, then I should have known from the get-go that this would also have the value of 200, okay? The other thing is I want you all to start looking at um, your trusses. Um, start like thinking ahead of what the solution might be. If I find that my reaction here is going up and we're pulling down, then this is all wanting to pull down. So you might already be able to tell where you have a tension member and where you have a compression member and see if, does it make sense that I got this to be in tension? Well, if I'm pulling this down, it's probably stretching it. And if it's stretching it, it's in tension, okay? So it's very important in strength because we talk mostly about behavior. Um, you need to start thinking about what the behavior you're predicting the system has, and you can start saying, does my answer make sense? Does it make sense that AB is 200 if AY is 200? Absolutely. It's a one-to-one -one ratio. This X component should be the same magnitude as this Y component. This should be the hypotenuse of 200 squared plus 200 squared. Take the square root, okay? That's the method of joints. Next video will be method of sections.